checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. That way the patriarchy doing a promo, and Nick is going to be in the Royal Rampage. The winner gets a world title shot at Grand Slam. And Nick suddenly notices Kip Sabian. He says, what's your deal, Kip? I know you're going to be in the Royal Rampage with me. I'm going to throw your ass out. And he says, nobody cares that your dad is dead. Toughen up. That's two on one show. It's two on one show. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know if we need that many dead people references. Just me. Mm. Pac killed Bear Boulder with a brain buster. Just a match. Mm. And then Swerve is giving his team a pep talk. And Well, so 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 the thing with, with, with Pac is, is that he's going to get a shot at MJF at some point, but we don't know when. Yes, he's got that in the bag. So Swerve's giving the group a pep talk, and Darby tells him to shut up. This is about the elite, not you. And we're never going to see eye to eye. So now Swerve's pissed. Then the Acclaim get pissed off. And finally, Mark Briscoe, who nobody could hate, steps up. And he does a uh, speech, and everybody's on the same page. So they build the debut of the glamour Mariah May. And what we actually got was just Mariah May versus Caitlin Alexis. And Mariah hit the hip attack in the corner. Storm Zero got the pin. Tony's music hit, but no Tony. And so Mariah's laughing. But then Tony did appear in the ring. And a bunch of referees hit the ring to break it up. Tony screamed, are you prepared to die? Because I am. And uh, the crowd was super into yeah. uh, their near brawl. I will say after last week when that Mariah segment pretty much died, um, this week this segment was really hot. You know, I mean, it, they didn't have Mariah Well, the talk. key is when Tony and Mariah were in the ring together. Like, people are super into that. The match it, itself did not have, like, a ton of heat. Oh, the well, the match itself was like a minute match. That was no big deal. But but as far as um, when they were in there together, I mean, the crowd's totally into Tony Storm as a babyface now. So that aspect at least makes, you know, is, is there. Because, like, man, last week when Mariah was out there, it was just, you know, the promo wasn't good and the crowd reaction was really bad. Um, this week the crowd reaction was... There's a great crowd in, in Nashville anyway. They, um, you know, they were way over 5,000 people, which... Um, you know, considering the advance, what the advance was is 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 pretty impressive. Um, I mean, I guess either they, you know, I know I know that you know Jeff's local and everything. I know they market it very well locally. I don't know if they may have papered at the end. I don't know that, but um, but they had a a a very well reacting crowd across the board all night long, and uh, that helped the show a lot. So then the main event was Blood and Guts 2024, and it started out with Darby and Jack. And this was the order of entry. Darby and Jack, and then Nick Jackson, then Mark Briscoe, then Matt Jackson, Anthony Bowens, Okada, who did absolutely nothing in this match, for those of you keeping track, and then uh, Max Caster. And then finally, they hit Hangman's music, but Hangman is nowhere to be seen. So Swerve is the last guy out, but of course, when he comes out, he is attacked by Hangman because Hangman does not care about AEW. He does not care about this match. He does not care about the elite. He only cares about killing Swerve. So he handcuffs him to the cage. He starts just beating the hell out of him. And he's beating him and he's beating him. And Matt finally grabs the house mic and he says, Hangman, what the hell are you doing? And Hangman's ignoring him. He's punching Swerve. And Matt says, if you don't get your ass in this ring, you're fired. And so Hangman gets in the ring. He demands they lock the cage. And uh, they ring the bell. So Blood and Guts begins with a swerve handcuffed outside the ring. And so they start doing their uh, their brawl. And Team AW is running wild. And Jeff Jarrett heads to the ring. And Brandon Cutler tries to stop him. Billy Gunn comes out and punches out Cutler. Jarrett kills him with a guitar shot. Jarrett and Billy then try to unlock Swerve. But they can't open the handcuffs. So thankfully Nana comes running with bolt cutters. And they finally unlock him, and then they use the bolt cutters to cut into the cage. So Swerve makes his big baby face come back. And everyone's down, and it's Swerve and Hangman staring off or staring each other down. And it's one-on-one, -on -one and the place goes nuts. And they start brawling, and the place is going crazy. And everybody else recovers and breaks it up, and we start getting the big moves. So the Jacksons had brought briefcases to the ring. One of them has staple guns. So they grab the staple guns. They start stapling the hell out of Swerve. He ends up fighting back. He gets a staple gun. He starts stapling everybody else. They had an awesome spot where Okada is going to go for the Rainmaker. 
but he flips off Swerve, and so Swerve staples his finger. Place went nuts for that spot. And then Swerve staples Hangman's face. We go to commercial. There's a bunch of tables set up outside. Nick and Bones end up outside the cage. They brawl up on top of the cage or kind of half, halfway. The, 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 the stand. Yeah, they're, they up, they're they, climbing they, about halfway up. And they, Bones, were, they, were, they, were, uh, they were way up there. Bones takes the bump off and goes through all four tables, so he's dead. Mark hits J drillers on everybody. Team AW opens up the handcuffs. They uh, or the other briefcase. They find handcuffs, so they handcuff Jack to the cage. They start killing him with cane shots. Darby goes in the ring and finds a chair, gives it to Mark Briscoe. Mark obliterates Jungle Boy with the unprotected chair shot to the man. Head. Man, that chair shot to the head was that I did not like that at well, all. Well, I can tell you this: it was one of the shaved down chairs. I don't know how shaved down that is. I don't know how soft it is, but it was a gimmick chair. But still, they waffled that dude with that chair. That, guy, that was a hard chair shot to the head. And then he doesn't even sell it. So, like, he practically became a baby face here because he will not quit. And then Darby grabs a lighter, and he pours lighter fluid all over. Uh, Gasoline all over him, yeah, supposedly. Yeah, Jack. So, and supposedly, yeah. He's about to light him on fire. And Matt, Matt Jackson is handcuffed to the ropes, and he has to watch. And Darby grabs a lighter. He says, I'm going to light this guy's ass on fire unless I get a TNT title shot at Wembley. So Matt's like, you want it? You got it. I'll sign it. I'm an EVP. And then Darby says, well, you need to quit as well because otherwise I'm going to light his ass on fire. And so Matt so, said, fine. It's gone too far. We quit. Yeah. Which was a pretty anticlimactic finish to an otherwise completely insane match. The match was, cra the match was crazy. I mean, the match was... Superheated, um, I could see. You know, I could see people. I could see it being a very polarizing match because um, there were so many. You know, it was just like a lot of, uh, you know, barbed wire and things like that. Barbed um, wire boards and chairs and staple guns and ladders and yeah, it's just a lot. Of, a lot of stuff like that. Um, very violent. Lots and lots of blood. Um, I mean, it worked for the crowd. So um, I thought the match. I mean. I didn't like the match, but I will say I thought that it was a great a great match. Um, you know, I mean, um, close to a super match, actually. You know, the one thing that I will say about it, my one criticism actually is, at the end of the day, what were the what were the stakes? I mean, there were no stakes. There's just blood and guts. I mean, nothing like the winning team gets to choose this or the winning team gets to choose that or even like, you know, somebody submits somebody else to set up a title match. We got a title match out of it, yeah. but it was because of a threat and somebody else giving the title match to yeah. the two participants. So at the end and, of the day, this would have been much better if there had been some sort of stipulation or some sort of uh, well, stakes I mean, the, the, of some sort to this. The, the other thing is, aside from, from, from Jack Perry and, and Darby, there was really not, you know, the other big focus between Jack Perry and Darby was, was a big focus spot. And the other focus thing was, was Swerve and Hangman. Who are going to wrestle, but they're not wrestling. I don't think they're wrestling anytime soon. Obviously, they're going to wrestle, you know. And the acclaimed and the young bucks, um, you know, are obviously wrestling soon. And you know, there was the spot where Nick, you know, threw bones off of the the, the stand and everything. But I didn't really get like the focal point of the young bucks versus acclaimed that much, um, you know, focused on. I mean, they can still build a, a, a match out of this one. And then the other thing is, is that is the Young Bucks wrestling the acclaimed, or are they wrestling FTR? Because if you watch Collision, you get the impression it's FTR. Well, I mean, they are going to wrestle the acclaimed at some point because the acclaimed won. Yeah, that tag title shot. FTR has merely said, you know, we're going to show up here and win a bunch of matches, and we're going to go to Wembley. Yeah, it seems like that's you know for the title, but I don't know. That's, that's what it felt like. To but me. the thing they is, did, we also they, saw that match last year at Wembley, so. They could do a three-way, too. They could do a three-way, I guess. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.